We are going on a journey to a tiny island in the Indian Ocean, just off the coast of Tanzania, where my father was born, Zanzibar. The woman planted a drum on the grass before her. She twisted a soft-worn kanga around her hips, as if she was going to wash clothes, chop vegetables, hike a child to her back to go to market, and none of us really paid any attention. The woman harnessed her hips to the drum. Chest high, foot in diameter, msondo drum. She rocked it aslant between her straddled legs. She settled into position, sunken chest, erect, shoulders, neck at the ready. Mouth set over gaping gums, kanga hiked up skinny, strong legs, like it was time to do business like she was going to work. This is Bikidude, virtuoso of Tarab, legend of Unyago, rock star, drummer, singer of Zanzibar, woman who at 95 has walked more miles than most of us have driven, claimed a lineage of music rooted in the lives of the powerless, stories unfurled in language of street and market, poetry buried in the bodies of women. I have never seen a woman ride a drum before, like a goddess rides a tiger, like creation rides the cosmos. I have never seen a woman ride a drum like this. I have never seen an artist, male or female, anywhere across the world, own her instrument, like it grew out of her belly, like it was welded to her thighs. Then there were the dancers, the dancers moved lazily, dropped their cell phones, shook out their kangas, gold at their ears, their necks, their wrists, gold gleamed in their mouths. The dancers slipped into motion as a bajia slips into hot oil, turns and rises to the surface, starts to sizzle. Now the dancers work their hips with a precision of balance, control, a potency of strength, of muscle isolation, Olympic gymnasts would envy. They thrust their succulent buttocks out with democratic largesse, tease the old woman in the black buoy buoy, taunt the white boy, dreadlocked tourist who feigns coolness behind his wraparound sunglasses, while I watch his neck turn scarlet, drip with sweat. The dancers move their hips for the waitresses, at Africa House Hotel, caged in the most god-awful, ugly, cheap, confining, black skirts, white shirts, to serve drinks to tourists in shorts and bikinis, because heaven forbid those who serve should ever feel breeze on their skins. Heaven forbid those who serve should move their hips and torsos freely in clothes that flow, in colors that hum. We might forget they are servants. We might see them. The dancers swivel their hips for the women those waitresses serve. Waxy pale, bikini-clad tourists at Serena's poolside. Women who check their bodies daily for criminal fat, for outlawed abundance of flesh. Women of the tragic sisterhood of liposuction, surgical alteration, silent epidemic of anorexia deaths. Women taught that beauty equals self-annihilation. These women who circle Bikidude as planets orbit the sun, circle like temple snakes, sinuous panthers, the source where sound begins. They are shaking the bounty of women's bodies back into the world. Their hips and butts are saying yes. Yes to largeness that does not apologize. Yes to knowledge, power, that do not disguise themselves, yes, to pleasure, claimed and vested in our mortal, beautiful bodies. I will never fear aging again, because now I have heard be kidude, belt out at 95 without a mic, tobacco-stained waves of sound, sandpaper down to coconut fiber, stronger than cables of steel. 
I have felt the power of this woman's neck, her shoulder muscles, surge thunder down arm to hand to drum, generate more power than 20 Lady Gagas, 50 Mick Jaggers, take us back to the center of fertile creation, where sound begins. I believe in B. Kidude the way I don't believe in God. But if God were a 95-year-old ebony black Swahili woman with a mouth full of broken and missing teeth, a kijiti at her defiant, all-knowing lips, an elfo kumi note flapping out of her neckline, hands veined like banyan trees, a drum between her legs. If God channeled irony, lust, contradiction, heartbreak, imperfection, if God flaunted her struggles like a velvet cape, rearranged the atoms of the world with the rhythm of her gut, then maybe I would believe in that God, that God who is only a name for the genius in all of us that makes us our own savior and prophet, our own divinity, I would call the faithful to prayer. Bomba kidude, kidude safi. And they would holler back, safi. They would holler back, safi. They would holler back, safi. And we would all be God. Thank you.